P-O-S-T. P-O-S-T. Post, the serials you like the most, brings you the Roy Rogers Show, starring the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. It's roundup time on the double R bar. So saddle your horse, cause we're gonna ride far. The double R bar ranch transcribes stories and songs of the real West with the Whippoorwills. The wisest trail scout of them all, Jonah Wilde, played by Forrest Lewis. The Queen of the West, Day Evans, and in person, the King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers. <laughs> Well, howdy, folks. This is Roy Rogers. Well, sir, tomorrow is Saturday, the day Mom does her shopping. So, Buckaroos, make sure she's got post cereals on her list, will you? The chances are she has, because Mom knows just as we do that she can count on anything bearing the brand name Post. They're good. Well, eight convicts escaped from the uh, state penitentiary yesterday, and Paradise Valley is on the alert. The authorities think they've headed in our direction. <laughs> Cold in these mountains. Yeah. I can't see more than a third of what's inside this cabin. He's got the shutters closed too tight. He must be alone. His lips ain't moved since we've been standing here. If anybody was there with him, he'd have spoken to him by now. We don't want to make a misstep after getting this far. We won't be making any misstep. I'm going around crash the front door, and I'll expect you to be with me. <laughs> Coming? Right behind you. Go ahead. Crash that door. Hey, what is it? Who are I'll you? I'll take him. No! <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, close the door. Keep out the cold. We'll find what we need and get out of here before he comes to. <laughs> We're luckier than we thought, Bob. We weren't even looking for money. Yeah, what good will money do us? We need clothes, us and the other six. We can't go on wearing these prison uniforms. Besides, that's not money, it's gold dust. Don't take my gold, please don't. Hey, he's come too. It's all I have. Shut up, lay still there. Where's the rest of your clothes? I'm an old man, don't... Where's the rest of your clothes? That's all I got, one outfit, except these I'm wearing. Don't take an old man. Rip off his clothes. You put them on, Sid. All right. Give him your prison uniform. I'll wear this outfit. Oh, no, please don't. No. That gold, you and me can go to the store and buy clothes for the rest of the boys. What are we going to do with this hombre, though? Leave my gold. We won't do anything with him. He can't get anywhere. Walking around with a convict uniform is like signing a death warrant right now with the whole country looking for us. At noon the next day, Roy Rogers and Jonah Wilde finish their lunch in the Eureka Cafe. They walk over to the cash register to pay their check. Roy hands Dale a $10 bill. Oh, Roy, is this the smallest you have? Well, you know, I remember once I fished a $10 bill. I was on furlough, and I dropped in on a couple I of... I thought credits. I might need some change, Dale. We're going out to help the sheriff look for those convicts this afternoon. No, I'll never get a chance to finish a story around here. I guess I'll just have to open the safe. Hey, what are you doing this afternoon, Jonah? Riding with Roy. What you want to know for? Well, I just wondered... You're wearing the trousers of your old army uniform. <laughs> now, don't tell me you fought in the last war. Well, I should say I did. I say hey, I excuse did. Excuse me, Jonah. Dale, is that gold dust in your safe? No, oh, ask a question and don't let you answer it. This? Yeah. yeah, I'm keeping it for Dick Lappin. Two men bought a big order of clothes from Dick this morning and paid him in gold dust. Hmm. What are you hmm about? Nothing except that prospectors around here usually sell their dust in the fall and hold up somewhere until spring. Yeah, except an old grasping Shelly Pratt. I say except in him, he never sells his. Did Dick say, who was it, paid off in dust? No, I guess they were both strangers. But they bought six complete outfits. That's the biggest order Dick's had all year. You thinking the same thing I am, Roy? Maybe. The escaped convicts. Oh, no, there were eight of them. Maybe two of them had already found clothes. The two who did the buying. Convolutions. I think we'd better let the sheriff know about this. Roy, I want to go with you. This is the first sign we've had that the convicts really are in Paradise Valley. It may lead to something big. Well, 
One hour later, Roy, Dale, and Jonah are in the mountain area north of Paradise Valley, hunting for the sheriff's posse they know is somewhere in the vicinity. They hear a shot close by. That came from just beyond the ridge. Yeah, yeah, it's probably that fog brain sheriff is shooting with a gun he didn't know was loaded. Turn off the trail head for the ridge. There's eight convicts in that gang, and eight of them can be mighty dangerous. Hey, somebody's holed up over there. Yeah, it's a sheriff. He's seen his shadow and he's shooting at it, hoping to collect the reward. Well, hadn't we better call and let him know we're here? Not yet. Let's make sure it's a sheriff and not the convicts before we give our positions away. Oh, hit the dirt. He's got our range. They're shooting at us. They think. Hey, we... watch them shots, law man. I got my uniform breeches on. Quiet, Jonah. Wow. Yeah, oh, he's a doing this out of plain cussedness. He hates old soldiers. That's not the sheriff. It's the convicts. Hey, you fellas out there. We've got a posse and we're telling you to throw down your guns and come on out. It's the convicts and they're taking off. Come on. The horsemen, the men who fired the shots, ride away fast. Roy, Dale, and Jonah go after them. Suddenly, after riding up more than 200 yards, Roy pulls up quickly. There's one of them. Pull up. Whoa, whoa, here. Come on out, fella. We know where you are. Oh, Buttermilk. Yeah, he's still wearing his prison suit. Are you coming out or do we use our guns? Who's that talking? Me, Roy Rogers. You got the convicts, Roy, or they got you? Hey, that voice. That's somebody who lives around here. <laughs> Just a second. I, I know this may be a trick the convicts are using to get me, but I trust you, Roy. Shell. What are you doing in a convict's uniform? Double convolutions. I guess you ain't hurt. Some convicts robbed me, took my clothes and all my gold dust. Hey, when was all this? Last night. I've been following them ever since. Only two of them first. Then about an hour ago, I, I trailed them away. There were six more. I've been trying to shoot it out with them. Were those the convicts that rode away just now? Yes, sir. And they... Shell, I'll give you a blanket out of my bedroll. Wrap it around yourself so that prison outfit doesn't show. Otherwise, you'll be shot at on sight. I know. That's why I ain't dead going to town, even when the first two rattlers I was following did. Here, I... put this around you and ride for your cabin. Stay there until you hear from us. We're going after them while the trail's still hot. Easy, Buttermilk. Steady, Titus. I wish we'd have brought Bullet. He'd have made this tracking a lot simpler. Well, it may follow us anyhow, Roy. He was in town when we left. Well, it doesn't matter now. They turned in here, and it looks like they headed straight for that ranch house. Yeah, well, I'll be glad when this is over. My uniform britches worry me. Say, you know, this ranch has really run down since Eddie Robertson moved out. I hate to have happen to me what happened to Tiptoe Tom with these pants on. We'd better be careful if we go up to the house, Roy. Yeah. Tiptoe Tom's real name was Private Thomas W. Hill. He was in the Army, you see. Say, he was in the Army. Blowed a silver coronet in the regimental band. Hey, look. There's just one horse at the hitching rail up there. And it belongs to the sheriff. Be ready for anything now. Yeah, uh, remind me to tell you what happened to Tiptoe Tom someday. Then you'll know why I worry about these britches. He was... Quiet. A... Watch it. Howdy. Oh, oh Hello. You folks looking for somebody? Yeah, we are. Yes, a fellow named Tiptoe Tom. Yeah, I, you, no, no, I'm wrong. We'd like to talk with the sheriff. They, well, the sheriff stopped here a few minutes ago. Said he was looking for those escaped convicts, I think. His horse is still out at the hitching rail. Uh, he wanted to look through the barns. He probably walked down there. You want to come in and wait? Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm Roy Rogers, and this is Dale Evans and Jonah Wilde. Howdy. 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 Oh, these men here are my riders. We drove a herd of cattle down to Mineral City. Got here this morning, decided to come out here and spend the night. Oh, is that so? Yeah, the boys got a month's wages in their pockets. They figured they'd spend it all if we stayed in town. Yeah, sit down. Thanks. There's seven of them, Roy, but there are eight convicts. Uh, how long ago did the sheriff get here? Oh, not more than 10 or 15 minutes ago, was it, boys? Yeah, yeah, he said he'd been on the trail, and then he... Hey, just a minute. What's the matter? I thought I heard somebody pounding upstairs on the ceiling. You didn't. Uh, I guess you was mistaken, Rogers. Well, am I? What's that, then? 
It couldn't be that the sheriff went upstairs, could it? You asked for this, Rogers. Come on, boys. Yeah. 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 Don't take any chances with him, three. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Rogers, get him. Get him. Make breakfast bright as a deputy sheriff's badge with new, improved Post Toasties, the heap good cornflakes. Yes, Post Toasties sure put sparkle into breakfast because every one of those sweet kernel cornflakes packs a heap of swell taste and flavor. And Post Toasties are so fresh, your breakfast bowl fairly crackles with good taste. With or without fresh fruit on top, you're gonna love Post Toasties, one of the famous triple wrap Post cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. Post Toasties, deep good corn flakes. The best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Heap good corn flakes. Post Toasties, heap good corn flakes. Get on the trail of Post Toasties tomorrow morning if you want to give the day a whiz of a start. For Post Toasties with sugar and cream are heap good and heap good nourishment too. Post Toasties, heap good corn flakes. The best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Heap good corn flakes. Post Toasties, heap good corn flakes. Roy, Dale, and Jonah have picked up the trail of the eight escaped convicts, and the trailers led them straight to the old Robertson Ranch. They saw the sheriff's horse outside the house tied to the hitching rail. They went into the house and were greeted not by the sheriff, but by seven owl hoots. Roy asked about the sheriff, and they heard someone knocking on the ceiling above their heads. Roy guessed at once that these men have taken the sheriff prisoner and are holding him upstairs. He says as much. The men surge forward. They must get rid of Roy and his friends. Rogers, don't take a chance on Rogers. The convicts, seven, eight escape convicts, fight with every means at their command. The girl's out of the way. Dale is knocked down. Now, Jonah. Right. right, put a gun on those two. The rest of us will finish Rogers. You've got a jump on your hand. Six men bear down on Roy, battering, kicking, hitting. Roy goes to the floor. Roy is knocked out. They got him. All three of them. They won't be fit to trail anybody else for a while. Coming in here inquiring for the sheriff as innocent as you please. They won't be trailing anybody else, no. But they got here, and there'll be others on the way. We take them upstairs and put them with the sheriff. Yeah. And while we're doing that, Sid, you get some straws ready. Straws? Yeah, there's an old broom around. Take straws from it, all sizes. One of us has got to sacrifice himself so the others can get away. We'll draw straws to see who stays behind. The convicts bend over Roy, Dale, and Jonah, bind them hand and foot, carry them upstairs. Can't say I'm glad to see you folks. Not here. We're not glad to be here, Sheriff. Yeah, it's the worst disgrace ever happened. Me took prisoner and put in with old Tin Star. Well, General T.K. Rose flunked. Yeah. The convicts go downstairs, where one of their number, Sid Kenyon, has a handful of straws. They're to draw lots to see which man stays behind and guards the prisoners while the rest get away. The drawing begins. It's a critical moment for them, for the man who loses will have little chance of escaping. The drawing is finished. That everybody? Yeah. All right, here's the deal. We're getting out of here, all except the man who drawed the shortest straw. He stays for 24 hours, guarding these hombres upstairs. Now, that gives the rest of us a chance to disappear. When the 24 hours are up, he leaves the prisoner and tries to make a getaway. But he's strictly on his own. There'll be no use looking for us because we'll go to a different spot than we planned. You understand why that has to be, I guess. If anything should go wrong upstairs, it's better that our man don't know anything to tell the law. All right, now, who got the short straw? Me. I got it. Sorry, Sid. Good luck. We'll be leaving right away. Sounds as though the gang downstairs is leaving, Roy. Yeah. All except the man who was unlucky enough to have to stay with us. One man guarding four of us. One man. We're helpers. Yeah, well, well, now, let me tell you how I got out of a similar situation mm -hmm. once. 
Except there was two of us. You and General T.K. Rowe, I suppose. No, no. Me and Tiptoe Tom Hill. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I ever told you about him, did I? Well, except that he played cornet in the regimental band. Played cornet? Ah, say, he was the pride of the post. That fella could hit such high notes on the cornet that it sounded just like a wagon wheel is squeaking. Mm. And hold him. I say, and hold him. Mm. Oh, his cheeks would puff up, his eyes would bug out, and his face get red, and then he'd raise up on his tiptoes. Mm. <laughs> Why, it'd feel like somebody was sticking a hot saber through your head. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was too bad about what happened to Tiptoe Tom, though. A real today, a real tragedy. It was a sight. Not torture enough to be tied. We have to listen to these lies, too. It, lies? Yes, lies. Uh, careful, Sheriff. Now, you look here. I can show you a picture of Tiptoe Tom with both his bodies and only one head. What? Jonah! Yes, sir. Quiet there now. I think our guard's coming upstairs. Yeah, he is. I hear him. No, oh, defeat, defeat. Just take it easy. Well, Sid, you got a bad break, didn't you? We heard what went on downstairs. Don't worry, I'll get away too. Sit down, you. Yeah, I'm a standing. That floor's dusty, and these britches... Take my advice and relax. You're here till tomorrow. Don't be too sure of that, Sid. Why not? You're tied. I've got my gun. Yeah, you're a brave man, all right, but let me tell you something. Go ahead. We have to pass the time some way. Uh, I got a couple of stories I could tell myself, but I never get a chance to finish nothing. This may sound like big talk coming from somebody who's tied up, but you haven't a chance, Sid. Your pals ran out on you. Yeah, they made you the goat. The law's bound to grab you. Look, the boys and I made a deal. One of us had to do this job, and it was my bad luck to get it. But nothing in the world would make me turn back on my pals. It's too bad you're on the wrong side of the law. Not many men are that loyal. Yeah, now there's a fact. Take Tiptoe Tom. He was... Hey, listen. Somebody must be riding up. Sid, we told you that you couldn't hope Shut to get... Up. I'll get down. And if it's somebody come for you, I'll shoot them and you. A killing won't make any difference now at the spot I'm in. That's Bullet, isn't it? Yeah. He must have picked up her trail. Say, Jonah, you happen to have a knife with you? Yeah, yeah. I got an old barlow that I stole from... Je or, I mean, did General Rowe give me? Here, turn around. I'll see if I can get it out of your pocket. Yeah, all right now. Yeah, you're getting it, right. There. There. Ah! Take him, Bullet! Take that man! He's shooting at Bullet! One will take care of himself. Yeah. Yeah, you got it open now, Roy. Now, it'll only take me a minute to cut your hands loose now. Uh, hurry. The convict won't last long with Bullet after him. You don't call him off too soon. You don't have to call him off at all, as far as I'm concerned. There, there you are, Roy. Thanks. Give me the knife. I gotta cut these ropes around my ankle. That poor feller down there. All right, Bullet. Pin him down. Hold him till we get there. I'm coming, boy. Roy is free and races down the stairs, ready to help Bullet if Bullet needs help, but he doesn't. Sid Kenyon is backed against the wall with Bullet standing in front of him, holding him there. The convict is whipped. Good boy, Bullet. I'll take over now. The positions are reversed now. The convict is the prisoner. Roy takes him upstairs while Dale, Jonah, and the sheriff are cut free. Uh, this feels a lot better. He's got two guns, Sheriff. That's one apiece for us. Say, I've got those two of yours that you had the gunsmith put in shape, Roy. They're in my saddlebag outside. That's good, Dale. You and Jonah take those. And now that Bullet's here, we'll have this hombre's pals before they get a chance to dig in anywhere. <laughs> Quiet, Bullet. Quiet. Say, Bullet didn't pick the wrong trail, did he? I don't think so. I figure the gang came back to Shell Platt's cabin thinking it's the last place in the world we'd look for him. Sure enough. Well, if the moon stays behind the clouds, we ought to be able to get clear up to the cabin before we're seen. Keep your guns ready. Roy and Bullet lead the group. Then comes Dale, the sheriff, and Jonah. They move ahead quietly toward the cabin. They come up to the door, and then... All right, you better give up, because this time we're going to take... <laughs> You know, along with Roy, Dale, and Trigger, fans all over the country have been clamoring for another favorite these days. You bet, it's that exciting new discovery, Post Sugar Crisp, the cereal treat that's fun to eat. There isn't any time of day that Post Sugar Crisp doesn't fill the bill. At the breakfast table, as an extra delicious cereal, 
between meals for a tasty snack, or right along with you, wherever you go, like candy, right out of the package. Yes, sir, this sugar crisp jingle really sums it up. As a cereal, it's dandy. For snacks, it's so handy. Or eat it like candy. Post Sugar Crisp is delicious all day long. And it's such wholesome eating, too. Wholesome wheat puffed to a fluffy lightness and then coated with sugar and honey for flavor. Plus, quick energy. Try Post Sugar Crisp yourself. But remember, one package is never enough. Better start with two. Get the package with the three little bears on the front. Post Sugar Crisp. Sugar Crisp, one of the famous triple wrap Post cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. The convicts hear Roy's order and open fire, but Roy is ducked back outside the doorway. Dale, the sheriff, and Jonah keep out of the way, and Bullet hugs the ground, waiting orders. There's no use fighting. The sheriff's here, and we're going to take you. Sheriff, Jonah, you too, Dale. I'm running around to that window in the back. Stay away from the door, but throw a shot at them if they start anything. Roy races to the rear of the cabin, bends low as he comes to the window. He raises up carefully, looks in, just as he hears the gang leader say, Come on in! You were so brave in the beginning, what's happened now? Neither Dale, the sheriff, nor Jonah answers. The gang leader has his gun in his hand, ready to fire. Behind him and to the side, Roy looks through the window, draws his own gun, takes careful aim, and fires. <laughs> The gun flies out of the outlaw's hand. The convicts whirl to face the window. Roy ducks below the window, and the convicts fire. In turning to face Roy, the convicts have left the front of the cabin unprotected. The sheriff, Jonah, and Dale come through the door. Put your hands up and turn around. But it don't make no difference which side we puncture. Make it fast. The convicts obey, all except the leader. He sees his chance, leaps for the rear window, and is outside. That's what I hoped you'd do. Now I got you. You're all through. I'll stay right there flat on the ground. Dale, is everything all right in there? We got him. Thanks to you, Roy. How about Shell Platt? Have you seen him? No, I haven't. I'm he... here. I hid under the bunk when lead started flying. All right. I'll bring this rattler inside. Then we'll get your gold back for you and herd these boys back into town. Uh, howdy, Sheriff. How about having supper with us? Oh, thanks, Roy. Well, yeah, now that things are quiet for a change. Well, there's one more prisoner I'd like to take before the day is over. Who's that, Sheriff? I'm looking right at him. Well, yeah. now, hold on. <laughs> a man with two bodies and one head, you say? Oh, you mustn't take Jonah too seriously. Tiptoe Tom. That's what he had. The whole thing is nobody ever gives me a chance to explain nothing. You've got a chance now. All right. Well, sir, one day when we had a regimental parade, Tiptoe got dressed in his buffalo hide uniform, same as his pants I'm wearing, and then piece he had to play on his coronet when the troops marched in review had one of them long, high notes in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a dandy. I say mm -hmm. it was a dandy. <laughs> must, have, must have been a high X sharp and was supposed to last two, three minutes. Well, sir, Tom come to the note, his face got red, his eyes bugged out, and he stood up on his tiptoes, mm -hmm. and he got the note out just as it started to rain. And Tom held that note. Oh, boy, how he held that note. The rain quit, the sun come out before he let go, and by jingo, when he did let go, the rain and sun had shrunk them britches, oh. and he couldn't oh. get down off his tiptoes. That's why... I'm <laughs> taking him along, The Roy. pants kept right on the shrinking. I know. <laughs> Until time was split right down the middle. <laughs> Two bodies, one head. You addle painted flood up build. Dale, no. help me. <laughs> the sheriff can't stand it. I'll take this arm. Turn me loose. I'm going to run them in. Sit down here. Take it easy, Sheriff. You'll spoil your appetite. That's not good to let yourself go like that. You're liable to have a stroke. <laughs> Last night, as I lay on the prairie and gazed at the stars in the sky, I wondered if ever a cowboy could dream. 
drift to that sweet by and by. Roll on, roll on, roll on, little doggies, roll on, roll on, roll on, roll on. Posted and know every breath. Riders, want to be the envy of your gang? Then be the first to own the exciting new Roy Rogers Western Rings. You'll want to get all 12 of these wonderful full-color metal rings adjustable to fit any size finger. They're all different. One ring pictures Roy himself. Others are of Dale, Trigger, and Bullet. And there are eight more. And they're so easy to get. No box tops, nothing to write in for. You'll find one in each Western Ring package. The package with Roy's picture on it of delicious mouth-watering post-raisin bran. That's right, only in post-raisin bran, the fruit and cereal treat. So start on your collection now. Be sure to get the new Western Ring package of post-raisin bran. That's all for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails to you Keep smiling until then The Roy Rogers Show is brought to you by Post Serials Each week at this same time With the Whippoorwills, Forrest Lewis, Dale Evans and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Rush production transcribed. Directed by Tom Hargis, script by Ray Wilson, music by Milton Charles. Featured in today's cast were Larry Chatterton, Herb Butterfield, Leo Curley, and Jim Nusser. This is Art Ballinger speaking for... P-O-S-T! Post Serials. Happy trails to you Until we meet Happy trails to you Keep smiling until then Who cares about the clouds if we're together Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather Happy trails